on numerous and some of them would wish to highlight today. And request A, you object to the decapping of the section 106, as the Normans have done. B, had serious the state you have serious concerns and recommend objections to the quarry application itself. And C, insist on an independent investigation. Again, as the Normans have done. Paragraph 10.2 recommends that no objection be expressed to County's proposed decoupling of the application from the condition relating to the establishment of Ellenbrook Park Trust. I disagree and recommend that we express an objection to this decoupling. We know that the other three councils involved in the Ellenbrook Park uh, Preservation Trust uh, have already voted not to uncouple this condition and we want mm -hmm. our borough council to stand in solidarity with them not to uncouple it. In the 19 years of delay so far, that has not diminished in any way the need for and the benefits we can gain from a country park. I agree that in 2000, a mineral extraction was part of the planned use of the site. However, at that point, there were far fewer ha uh, residents in the area, far fewer cars on the roads, and the idea of a university campus with thousands of students had only just started to develop. There are three things that I would really like you to be considering this evening as you make your decision. One, the impact on air quality of quarry workings that close to residential buildings and the related HDV traffic that has already been referred to. The risk to the water supply from the bromate plume. Yes, it is, may not be under the quarry. It may be under the quarry. The, the presence of the plume is derived from where those borehole readings are. Nobody knows exactly where it is. And finally, the loss of the country park. Residents feel they have been let down by the planning system. This appears to be an abuse of the section 106 and planning registration. This quarry will last there for 30 years. There will be few in this room now who will be here to see the final remediation of that site. Um, Hatfield is a town who's been treated with the utmost contempt in my eyes, not for the first time, over this whole sorry British Aerospace, Arlington's, Ellen Rookfields, Brit Aggregates, and the cherry on the cake, the bromate plume saga. If it was not for the persistence and the tenacity of Margaret Eames Peterson and the Ellen Rook Residents Association, this would have probably stopped under the radar. Do Arlington's, a real estate company based in America, care about what is best for Hatfield and its people? I very much doubt it. This should not even be a debate. I show hands to support those. Yep. Yeah. Very good result. Yeah. I was really pleased with the, um, what was said by all of the councillors and everybody that spoke. Um, I, I want to see the park established and um, I am really worried about the bromate risk. Um, so I think we do need an independent uh, investigation into what the health risks are. And uh, until that's done, I think you know, there should be no worry. So I was very pleased with what happened tonight.